good morning everyone this is what my garden looks like during spring starting off from the main entrance just behind the gate there is this beautiful calistemon vimenelis tree with an absolutely stunning canopy this turns red during summer and attracts tons of pollinators this is my favorite tree and just behind sorry just below that we have a magnolia lily flora this has been struggling for quite some time now and just when we were about to pull it out this started doing really well so i'm happy it's gonna stay it's a beautiful little tree well it grows into a tree but we've kind of maintained it into a shrub it's in full bloom right now. Look at how beautiful the flowers are. It's also shooting up at the same time. Really beautiful addition to your garden, the Magnolia Lily Flora. Just below it, we have a Buddha statue. It looks like he's peacefully uh, meditating there. Really beautiful again. Just beside him, we have a huge uh, Clivia miniata lily. We've kept the seed pods from last season because I feel it looks like a rose hip. Very beautiful. This is budding up and it gives blazing orange blooms. They are really huge clustered as you can see it lights up this rather dark area of the garden because of the shade that this huge tree casts over here beside the clivia miniata we have brunfelsia also known as the yesterday today tomorrow locally uh, it's shooting up as well throwing out lots of Buds. It covers itself in tri-colored blooms during late spring or early summer. It's purple, yeah, purple, white, and dark purple. Um, my dad gave it a harsh prune, so it's looking a bit uh, but we do need to train it. So yeah, and then I have a couple of stepping stones. With lots of shells I got from Goa, Vasco da Gama, Japanese garden. And it leads to a seating area for us to sit and enjoy the garden. There is a Mascari Liriop. Not doing very well, probably because of the clayey soil. And also a volunteer rose, which I need to pull out because a thorny rose bush right beside a seating area is a very bad idea and behind the seating area <laughs> i have this sad looking lemon cypress i actually rescued it it was on the verge of dying from all the sun that it got direct sunlight so i'm training it into a little topiary let's see how it does a topiary lollipop and then there's this sad looking peperomia luna red it looks sad because it's a house plant it's been planted outside and we have this little shade garden sort of area with lots of hydrangeas and peace lily the hydrangeas are done blooming it's putting up new fresh leaves they're gonna look bulky in no time and got more peace lily and then there's this piece of gate with a climbing bleeding heart it's a white bleeding heart and these things are from puja we recently had puja we haven't had the time to clear these things out so it's still there and this concrete thing i built on my own with lots of shells again and some leaf imprints the leaves are probably elephant ears and then this little angel that i really love what i left here is this huge trachycarpus tree 
which adds in that weight this garden really really needs it's already budding up and the flowers are edible you crush it and add some mustard oil and sesame seed and it tastes so good okay the sun is up and then we have a little area for peace lily the leaves are burned out because of the sun and because of how dry the winter has been but they're going to flush uh, up as soon as the monsoon hits this place uh, they look all lush and green and they'll start blooming and i'll do a tour uh, during monsoon as well so yeah it looks sad right now just behind that we have an australian prune plum the kind of plums that you get in supermarkets the black ones that's the one it did not bloom this year which is sad but it might next year and then we have a huge calyandra bush putting up a lot of buds as you can see yeah and just behind that we have this huge bogan villa in red and white the red bogan villa has dark green leaves while the one at it's right. The white ones have a chartreuse colored leaf. So yeah, it blooms, I think, during summer as well. Summer or fall? Not that sure. And this is my grandma's old watering can. I've planted it with some succulent. And beside that, we have an azalea bush with variegated beautiful variegated flowers and then there's a stone bed that i built on my own it was a struggle i've sowed some random seeds i have no idea what these are i initially thought these were california poppies but it's kind of giving off these kind of blooms if any one of you know what this is please let me know down uh please let me know down in the comment section and there's a little hen hiding from us uh so then there's another bed on another side which mirrors the other one but we'll get to it later first this is like a focal point that i've built so that all eyes go here when they're entering the garden uh, so we have lots of calendulas both in double as well as single these have a light center this one has a rather dark center then there's this really yellow one all mixed you know some of them are already done blooming and this is their seed pot you get lots of plants from one pot which is the beauty of nature and we have lots of dahlias solid daffodils some of them have already bloomed some are trying to bloom and this dwarf cherry plant tree that um, is already done blooming so now they're going to push out new leaves and start forming cherries which i'll show you later so these are the beautiful blooms they also attracted tons and tons of pollinators i've um, uploaded the video on instagram as well as youtube so you may check it out and just beside that we have another stone bed that i built again and lots of cornflowers i love cornflowers one of my favorite flowers again this pink purple violet i love purples and violet in my garden 
the bees love this as well I hope they form seeds because I'm gonna sow it everywhere next year covered in lots of buds again and then there's a bee house over here let me just get to the other side there's also a volunteer viola over there uh, we call this powder powderful um and then i don't know what this is called but beautiful orange flowers again and this creeping thing that's creeping over the wall is orange trumpet vine they haven't bloomed yet and this huge tree behind that is actually jamun it does fruit up they give little jamun fruits that are really yum and then we have a bulb bed lots of lycoris and uh, some daffodils and a lot of amaryllis that are ready to bloom as you can see some spent gomfrinas and then there's a Japanese maple that's shooting up more calendulas and a white hydrangea moving on there's poinsettia and a couple of rocks we had planted around 7000 freesia bulbs on this bed that bed over there and two beds on the front of the house they it smells so good right now i wish you could smell it um yeah look at the blooms it's beautiful absolutely stunning and there's white the bees love it and my particularly favorite color is this really deep red you can see the bees have already started doing their duty don't want to disturb them but this is how stunning it looks and they are all yet to bloom lots of buds imagine how it would look when it's in full bloom waiting for that time and lastly we have this uh, center bed which has some freesias a cherub sorry an angel it's actually a bird bath planted with jasmine i don't want to cast a shadow so i kind of move to the side the bird bath has dried up i need to fill it but i planted the jasmine intentionally so that it matches the color of the statue and it does look stunning i'm happy i did that this side is already blooming but this side it's not because this area gets more sun as compared to this one so that is how important sun is for growth mm. Yeah, and I don't know what these are called, but they are about to bloom. So I want to create a little hedge around with um, these plants. Love the color. It is so unique. I always love this color in my garden. This deep red, almost like very close to black. I would love to have a tree this color and yeah that is pretty much it for the garden tour let me give you an overview yeah so this is it oh it looks so beautiful yeah so thank you so much for watching i will come with another maybe a late spring or 
a summer garden tour really soon as soon as uh, some of the flowers come into bloom especially the brunfelsia caliandra amaryllis and yeah stuff like that so yeah thank you so much for watching i hope you all have a good day bye bye